Hey meditators, what's up? How are you? I pray you are doing well. I pray that you are feeling good and all that good stuff. So I have an amazing word for you today. I'm telling you, when God placed this message on my heart, I almost fell down. I almost fell down right to the floor. It was so good. And that's how it is when God lays message on you, when he gives you wisdom. And it's like, oh, I needed that, Lord. Yes. And you can receive answers like that at any given time. But you have to stay in the dwelling place. If you need strategy for your life, insight, God is willing and able and ready to give that to you. But you have to come to him. In the dwelling place is where you get all the answers that you need. Okay? Everything that you need, you get comfort, love, forgiveness, understanding, patience. It's all in the dwelling place. And it's so real and exactly what you need to get you through any situation. Okay? So the dwelling place is where you have that intimate time with God to spend time with the Lord, to meditate, to journal, read your Bible, listen to a sermon, um, listen to praise and worship, sing praise and worship songs, talk to God, pray. That is the dwelling place. And you must make time out of your day to do that every day, um, preferably in the morning, night and day because that is what that is where your help is going to come from that you need to get you through your situation that is your insight that is your everything it's in the dwelling place where you're spending time with the lord creator of the whole world he has the wisdom that you need for your day-to-day -day as well as your future so you must come to him daily so you constantly know what to do how to go about your day to obtain your destiny we must get in the dwelling place information or the wisdom that we don't receive it is okay all that means is god is taking care of that the steps of a good man is order so if you're constantly spending time with god believing and keeping the faith your steps are being ordered so anything that God does not reveal to you, it's because he don't want you to know that. He knows you best and he don't feel like that's information that you need. He don't want you to get ahead of yourself. God knows that for some of y'all, if he gave you information too quickly, you would take off and run off and probably wouldn't even acknowledge him in some of the things that you are doing. And then you're going to end up falling. And he don't want that for you. So he holds back certain information. So the things that you don't understand or God is not telling you, that is okay. Keep doing the work that you need to do. Keep walking by faith and God is going to handle the rest. He's going to place opportunities in your path. He's going to place the right people in your path. He's going to provide your every need. The things that are out of your control, the things you don't know what to do, God will do it in his timing. You focus on the wisdom that he did provide you with and receive his comfort and strength that you need to, to keep going on and fighting the good fight of faith. Also, you're going to need to put yourself in a community where it's other people who are on the same type of time as you, trying to build a business, trying to evolve and become a better person, trying to gain a closer relationship with God. Those are communities that you need to be in and where you can benefit from, gain knowledge from, and express yourself. Make sure you're in communities that are good for your growth and make sure that you are in the dwelling place morning, day, and night. And I know that sometimes we feel like life is busy and hectic and we don't have time to get in the dwelling place. Well, if you want the answers that you, that you need to get through your situation, if you want peace, if you want healing, then you better make time to get in the dwelling place. Because the dwelling place is going to help you to overcome the obstacles.
that you're facing. You have to make time for God. It's for your own good. God wants to properly prepare you for things, prepare you for your destiny and what's next. So sometimes he will hold back information from you. Or he may hold back money because he know if he gave you the money that you need to do the things that you need to do, you going off. You is going off. You doing this, you doing that, you doing this. And you may do something that is not for your good or put yourself in a position that you're not even ready for. Okay? He is working it out still. And you just have to trust and believe in that and take what he gives you and run with that. Everything else, he got it. He don't need no action from you. That's why he didn't tell you about it because he don't need you to do nothing. But keep working your faith and keep putting in the work and working diligently on what you're trying to achieve. And he has the rest. Whatever he didn't tell you about, he has it. If he wants you to know, he'll let you know. All right? Everything else is your steps are being ordered. He's going to put the opportunities in your path. He's going to put the right people in your path. He's going to do it. He got it. He's it's under his control. He got it. You don't have to worry about what you don't know. Along, all you have to worry about is staying in the dwelling place, evaluating yourself when you're journaling, um, praying to God, reading your Bible, praising worship, stay in the dwelling place. That's all you need to worry about. And then taking what God gives you and applying it to your life. And this is every day. God will give you strategy for your day. He's your present help in the time of trouble. He wants to be, he wants you to acknowledge him every day. So if he wants you to acknowledge him every day, that means he wants to help you in your day to day. Allow him to help you. Draw near to him and he will draw near to you. Get in the dwelling place. Get the answers and the wisdom that you need to overcome, to evolve, to reach your goals. It's in the dwelling place, guys. And don't worry about your life. Live one day at a time. Don't let your worries steal your peace and your joy of the day. God has it. It's under control. He's a big God. He's creator of the world, creator of the universe. He owns it. That means if you put your situation in his hands, then your situation is under control. God owns the world. Everything in your life is working for your good, the good and the bad. It reminds me of the movie, see, I think it's called Slim the Millionaire, where this poor kid just went through the worst in his life. But everything that he went through prepared him for his winning season, prepared him for the moment that was going to bless him abundantly. And that's the same way with us. Everything that we go through, bad or good, is all preparing us for our destiny. It's all preparing us for where God is trying to take us next. So count it all joy, the good and the bad. Count it all joy because it's all working for your good. So yeah, the, the boy in the movie, he had the worst life or one of the worst life you know he had a lot going on but his life prepared him for the game who wants to be a millionaire he was able to answer all the questions correctly because what he had been through it may seem like you know it's an ugly situation that you're in but you need it it's necessary for the destination if you're in the dwelling place god will comfort you and he will give you wisdom and peace that you need to get through. But you have to stay in the dwelling place. You have to make time for God. God will provide your every need. Give you wisdom and comfort. Somebody say in the dwelling place, okay? Put that down in the comments. It's in the dwelling place. God said he will fix your situation, but you have to stay in the dwelling place. And I know sometimes we feel like when we bring a situation to God, 
that it just get worse. That we'd be like even scared to pray about it because it's like, I know if I pray to God about this situation, it's just going to get worse. And that'd be the case a lot of the time. But because God, he don't like to patch things up. He says that in Matthew chapter 14, God is not going to patch anything up. You bring him a situation, you bring him your life, he's going to renew it. He's going to tear it down and bring it back up. Okay? He's going to renew it. All things new with God. He's not going to put new clothes on top of old clothes. No. No, baby. It got to come down. And then he's going to bring it up new. So that coming down, tearing everything down, uh, when you bring your life to him, when you bring a certain situation to him, bringing it down, it may not feel good. It's not going to feel good. But if you stay in the dwelling place, it's going to help you to get through. And when you come out, you're going to come out brand new. Okay? So let God evolve you. Let him renew your mind, body, and spirit the way it needs to be renewed so that you can come out greater and better. The good Lord says if you draw close to him, he's going to draw near to you. James 4, chapter 7. So humble yourself before God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Come close to God and God will come close to you. Wash your hands, you sinners. Purify your hearts, for your loyalty is divided between God and the world. Let there be tears for what you have done. Let there be sorrow and deep grief. Let there be sadness instead of laughter and gloom instead of joy. Humble yourself before the Lord and he will lift you up in honor. And that's what it is. You need strategy for your life. You need insight. You need comfort. And you need to go to the dwelling place. And you need to stay there. And you need to trust God to make a way. Because he will. And he owns this world. He's the creator and owner. And if your situation is in his hand, then you and your situation is being taken care of. We serve a big God who can do anything and nothing is too hard for him. But you got to draw close to him and he's going to draw close to you. He will uplift you in honor. That's the kind of God we serve. That's all for today, you guys. Go spend some time with God. Go get the answers that you need to overcome every obstacle, to renew your strength, body, and spirit, and become brand new. He makes all things new. God loves you, and he got you. See you guys next time. Bye.